Hey everyone, Karan here from Tech Rails, and today we are looking at Batman Arkham Knight on the Steam Deck. Now, on the Steam Deck, Batman Arkham Knight is considered as unplayable uh, as per Steam Deck, but it's fully playable. You can uh, download this game uh, from Steam uh, Library, and it's right now it's for very cheap because there's some offer going on. So for like 200 rupees, you can get the entire trilogy for yourselves. So we are going to go through all, we are going to cycle through all the settings uh, of Batman. So right now, this is at the lowest possible setting. Of course, resolution is uh, full, native resolution. And rest everything is turned off. Uh, these settings don't really make a difference on the graphics, but yeah. All right, so let's just start and see. Alright, so you can see that the game will tend to be below 60 FPS even in low settings. And the best idea for this will be to lock this game at 50 or let's say 40 FPS. So that's my preferred way of playing this game is to lock this game at 40 FPS. So, you know, maybe we should go one setting higher and let's take it to medium settings. So there is, isn't too much of uh, play that we have with the settings, but let's go to medium settings and uh, you know what, turn on anti-aliasing, texture filtering, let's put it at 4x and hit apply. Enhanced strain, enhanced light shafts, we'll keep these things disabled because this is more of an NVIDIA game work settings. Like I was saying, this game will be perfect played at a 40 FPS lock. Thanks, 
The city's overrun. We don't stand a chance. Stay here. I'll send someone to pick you up. What are you doing? Evening the odds. So this is uh, the Batmobile and here is where you will be able to test the actual performance of your game. So yeah, while running this through the city, the frame rates really fall off. Let's just now set the settings to maxed out <coughs> and see what the experience is like. All right. Now this is at max settings and you can see that the game is dipping below 40 FPS now properly. Although the game is looking very nice, but the frame rates are below 40. You can easily lock this to 30 FPS and have a really good experience. Can't stand surprise. You should 
really review yours. I've been free with that of fluxes. Now, uh, let me just let me just show you the settings I would use the most, um, where I'm able to keep you know steady 40 FPS as well, and you know uh, not have too many issues. So what I would do, I would uh, change this to apply, and I would bring down the refresh rate to 40 f 40 hertz, and I would lock it to 40 FPS. So. That way, the game should be very smooth uh, while playing and I should have the best visual experience as well. So let's just see if that is a possibility. Alright, so I can see that the game still goes below that. So let's also reduce the level of detail to normal.
Alright, so... Let's see if that helps out in any way. Yep, so we are right now locked at 40. And what this would do is this would keep the game locked at 60 FPS. Deploying more tanks at Panessa Studios. I've warned GCPD to pull their men off the streets. I'm heading there now. Come in, all units. This is Commissioner Gordon. We have numerous hostile tanks deployed across the city. Gotham is under attack. I want everyone off the streets and back to Alright, as you can see, the game is We're running really smooth. There are some minor dips God here and there, so under 40. But mostly, if you see that the game is running very smooth.
hope they were the last. Don't count on this. I need the isolation chamber prepped at the GCPD lockup. I'm bringing an IV. As you can see, these are the settings that I'm using to get a lock 40 FPS. Uh, you know, still some minor drops here and there uh, during traversal with the Batmobile, but otherwise, this should be a pretty straightforward locked uh, 40 FPS gaming session for you. Alright, so if you like this gameplay and if you're liking the sort of content that I'm doing with the Steam Deck and you like Batman in general, do watch this content more and, you know, subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Cheers.